Welcome to part 8 of Sonic Adventure 2, so last time we beat the hero story, so now we're going to be doing the dark story. Enjoy. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Security breach! Intruder has been located in the north quadrant, moving in the direction of the underground base. All units prepare to engage. The emergency battle formation. Standard battle procedures initiated. Alright, so we're playing Iron Gate, the first level of the Dark Story, and we are playing as Dr. Eggman, his first time being playable in a Sonic game. So yeah, um, just like Tails, he's on a mech, and uh, he does the same thing like Tails, but uh, this time he is on the Egg Walker, which is kind of funny because in the original Sonic Adventure, uh, in, the, in Tails' story, you fought a boss, and it was called the Egg Walker, so... Makes sense why they call this one the Egg Walker, cause well, I mean it's kind of obvious. So yeah, um, Iron Gate uh, is inspired of um, Prison Island um, when we did like Tales is a uh, got that one level was called, but uh, it's kind of like this level, but you know, but you know the, the 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 design is different, so that's what's really unique about it. But you know, besides like the layouts and stuff. I mean, you'll recognize the environment, but, like, it's a different level, really. So, the Dark Story is not totally the same like the Hero Story, but, you know. And, uh, and, uh, this is, uh, most people, most people, uh, really like the Dark Story than the Hero Story. Um, I like the Hero Story still, but, um, I can get where people's coming from, because, like, there's, like, much, there's, like, more story to this than the Hero Story. I mean, at least the Hero Story, you know explain everything like what's going on you know kind of the obvious i guess you know nothing too serious if you think i mean it was still serious but you know what i mean so but like the dark story there's like so much detail of like you know when uh we re when uh when well you know we're gonna go see or i guess release being this level there's gonna be so many unanswered questions and stuff in the yeah most people really like the dark story, and, uh, I can't get mad about that, honestly, because, like, I understand, I get it, so, but me, I like the hero story more. Well, I just, I don't know, that's just me, you know. So, yeah, the gimmick here is, uh, you, you just shoot these doors, and, yeah, it's so awesome to play this 8-man, you know? You never, you, like, you always wonder... What will be that one Sonic game that 8-Man will ever be playable? Right here, at this very moment. This is the first game ever. He plays 8-Man. Even though he had his own game before, a uh, mean Bean Machine. But he technically, but he wasn't really playing as him though. Even though that was his own game. So. Yeah. We're almost done with the level. Yeah, I can tell because like all the doors are shutting down. You gotta hit this uh machine to or get the rocket to hit all the doors and then uh, we're done with the level. Yeah, it's a uh, really fun playing Zakeman here. You know, I can't wait to play as a uh, Shadow and Rouge. Yosh. And I like I like that one part he says Yosh. I always liked that, it was always funny to me. We got a B rank. Piece of cake. Place 
the Chaos Emerald into this console. for this is shadow the hedgehog well you already know that but well he was introduced in well when we fought him in the hero story but uh, yeah this is shadows uh first time in this game i'm gonna say it again because why not and uh this is his first boss fight really not a level well um this boss fight is similar to sonic's when he fought the egg dog or bigfoot i meant <laughs> um, egg dog where did that come from <laughs> oh jeez um, yeah, so, I call him the egg, oh my god, uh, anyway, uh, he's pretty simple, just like Sonic, um, cause S S Shadow plays just like Sonic, he's not really too similar to him, really, the only difference is what, you know, the only difference that, that, what, bleh, what makes him unique is, well, he has jet skates, or rocket skates, or whatever you want to call them, I always, I always prefer to call them jet skates. Or rocket between the two, yeah. So yeah, he could do what Sonic can, same moves, but you know, yeah. This boss fight is not too hard. Uh, you know, it's similar to when you know the first boss fight with Sonic, and uh, kind of bit you know hard, but uh, that was Bigfoot. So we are doing a treasure hunting level with Rouge the Bat. 
playing Dry Lagoon. And uh, this is a level that is, that is inspired a Wild Canyon, but you know, not really too wild, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, because like Wild Canyon look kind of desert kind of vibe. This level is also, this, you know, this level is also the same thing too. And wow, I got a Chaos Emerald already, or Master Shard already. That was fast. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this level, uh, not too hard to find Master Shards. So, yeah. And, uh, Rouge the Bat, uh, she is fast. She is actually kind of a bit faster than Knuckles. Um, that's the only, that's what I can really say. But really, uh, she plays just like Knuckles. So, no difference. Well, the only difference is that, uh, she uses her feet to kick. Besides her hands, because, uh, she'll be the type of character that does not want to use her hands to dig. And, uh, this is her first appearance in this game. I, I, I don't know if, like, she was, like, ever mentioned in the other trailers. Because I know, like, Shadow was. Because, like, he was a big deal. But I don't know about Rouge, though. Like, was she, like, the main focus during development of this game? I'm kind of curious, because, like, I don't know. Don't know. Because, like, this is her first appearance. Along with Shadow, so. Maybe, I don't know. Unless someone can tell me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, Rouge the Bat, um, we don't know much about her, but we will learn soon or later about her, you know, why is she in the dark stop, dark story, because, like, you know, because we're playing as Rouge, Shadow, and Eggman, so, yeah, you know, this level, not that bad, only difference is that, uh, there's a turtle, you can ride on him, because so there's a second one you can ride, because like one of the emerald shards will be underwater. You have to go to the cage that's under, you know, the water. So, yeah. So, uh, really nothing much to say about Rouge. Um, she is a uh, quite the interesting character ever since her first appearance. Because like, uh, you know, people, got, people already know, uh, she has been getting a lot of attention. She's, both, she's the most popular female in the series, and uh, kind of a bit of a fan service. That's how I look at her. Oh uh, boy. How is that? But uh, yeah, Perfect. got an A rank, like just like Knuckles. Alrighty, so we're playing Sand Ocean, and uh, probably one of the hardest levels of Eggman, because this level is much easier when you get the hover, but uh, since we don't got an upgrade yet, in fact, neither of the characters, just like the hero story, because like, when we play as the hero story, they got upgrades right away, so, yeah, uh, they don't get an upgrade till like, a few, I don't know, it's weird, I like a few levels, then they get one. So, uh, this level is kind of hard with, uh, without the hover, but uh, still, still a challenge. I mean, you know, even with the hover, this level is still kind of hard. But, uh, but not really. Especially if this is your first time, and uh, yeah, you just gotta be careful how you jump, because uh, you're in the mech, and uh, you don't want to fall in the, in the sand. I don't, I don't think I mentioned that, because like, when you're Sonic, when he falls in the sand, because there isn't like a level that there's no, like, the, there's no sand. Well, except for the boss fight, when we get when we win against the egg golem, uh, Sonic can get out of that, but you gotta keep mashing the jump button. I guess it's like depending of like the spot you're in of the sand, you can get out, but you know where you're at. But like if I kind of interrupt myself there, um, yeah, you can uh, depending on the spot you're in, you can get out. But like if you're like really deep, then uh, there's no chance. So. But uh, if you're in a mech, then you'll you'll automatically die. You'll just get you get sink. You, there's no way out. Cause a uh, mech, uh, you know, a mech and sand does not mix together. Not at all. But uh, this level is actually kind of nice. I like the music. It's fitting. You know, I like the 
environment, like the night. This is really, I like this environment, you know. It's really nice. This is a uh, eight man secret base or hidden base, and there's a lot of gun robots. That's also something I realized that uh, we don't really see much bagnets um, in these games. Then we didn't really see them too often ever since 3D or when Sonic hit the 3D. We don't really see them anymore. So I mean, I mean they're in the game. But like you don't really see them that often, but they will. They you know they they will they will like you know return. So maybe I just don't remember because I know they've been in a few games that I saw them in. So yeah, at that at that time it's been like a while since we've seen Bagnets. So. The back nits. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's weird. I don't know. Jeez. It's like I haven't seen them in a while. I don't know how to say their names right. That's kind of sad. But, uh, we got these gum robots, which I always assume... I always assume they were 8 Man's robots, but no. If they were 8 Man's robots, then why is he fighting them? Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. But, you know. They had, you know, had to give out uh, the dark story, you know, the characters to fight. Otherwise, who will they fight besides... Oh, no, I died. Okay, I'm back. I even restart the level, because, like, you gotta admit, that was a nice run. And, you know, I'm not gonna let that go to waste. So I, re I restarted the level, and you got a one-up. Kind of, you know, kind of satisfying way, really. Skadoosh. But everything else that's not, you know, in the sand, it's pretty simple, you know, not too crazy. He's got to play safe, I guess, which I am doing here now. So uh, anyway, while I was talking, oh, before I get to that, um, you know, 8-Man's real name is Robotnik, but in this game they call him 8-Man. He even calls himself that, because in the original Sonic Adventure, they insult his name because he's shaped as an egg. So, at that point, 8-Man started calling himself 8-Man. Uh, so yeah, between a Robotnik and 8-Man, it doesn't matter. But I like calling him 8-Man the most. Anyway, I'll see you guys in part 9. <laughs> Piece of cake. Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was stolen was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More the work of Shadow. Revenge. 